This is Dark Souls. Dark Souls 2 was announced December 8th, 2012 on the Spikes TV Video Awards. Dark Souls was created by Bandai Namco. Hidaka Miyazaki, the series creator, decided he only wanted to be a supervisor on the sequel and not one of the lead developers. So Tohiro Shiba and Yui Tamamura co-directed the game together. I think it was a surprise to everyone when they realized how much of a success it was going to turn out to be. The reason why I think Dark Souls 2 was so successful in the first place is it does something that not many games can do. It is complete immersion. There is not a time in the game where you do not feel like you are your character, that, that these struggles are happening to you and the battles that you're facing out there are the battles that you're facing with yourself. Dark Souls 2 storyline is very mysterious and vague. At the beginning of the game, all the information that is given to you is that you are the bearer of this curse, which gives you the ability to come back alive after you die. Now at first, that doesn't sound too bad, but once you read into it more, you'll see what you'll become. When you are reborn, when you have this curse, you are turned into something called the Hollow. Hollows, like the enemies in the game, are people who've succumbed to the darkness of dying over and over again. So in short, the more you die, the more of a monster you become until you turn into an enemy. So this means throughout the entire story you are hoping, looking, and praying for an opportunity or someone that could possibly cure you of this curse. However, there are some short-term solutions, such as human effigies reverse the hollowing process so you can retain and become more human. However, these effects won't last forever. Now the gameplay around Dark Souls is something that's very untraditional. It, it, it isn't interested in holding your hand through levels and helping you in understanding of what's going on. Dark Souls is a very, very hard game. It, the whole game circulates around you dying a lot and learning from your mistakes and things that you could do to prevent death. There are societies online that absolutely worship Dark Souls for doing this because it really makes you feel like you accomplished something when you beat the game. A very small, small, small section of Dark Souls 2 is based around player versus player and competitivity. The game's meant to be played as a story game and nothing else. Really. However, you can summon other players which could be your friends to your world to help you defeat strong bosses or enemies. However, even though some people consider this game to be an absolute masterpiece, lots of other people consider it to be too hard or frustrating. So it's really just up to your personal preference. The history behind this series is that there was two pre-sequels to this game, one called Demon Souls and the other one called Dark Souls 1. Now, Dark Souls 2 is thought to be the best of the series, but lots of people counter argument with that because they consider Dark Souls 1 to be the hardest game that they've ever played in their entire lives. In my opinion, Dark Souls is a must-buy, because they just remade it this year and it's considered a masterpiece by so many people. I would even suggest this game to people that have never tried anything like it before, because you are going to like it. It's a very fun, it's a good experience. And this will conclude my video project. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.